Hi guys, it's Kate here from dudehack.com and today we're going to be running through how eHarmony works. Are you tired of using swiping apps that end up pairing you with people who just want to hook up? Are you ready to settle down but are having trouble finding the one? Well, do not fret my friend, eHarmony is the answer to your problem. If you're on the lookout for a serious long-term relationship, then eHarmony is the perfect dating platform for you. The people who tend to mostly use eHarmony are those who are looking for marriages and long-term relationships. The site also claims responsibility for around 550 marriages per day in the US. Have I caught your interest? But first, a little reminder, my name is Kate from DudeHack.com, a website that is everything online dating. If that sounds even a little interesting to you, make sure you check it out. This video, you're going to find everything you need to know about eHarmony, from the sign up process to what's included in the premium packages, I'll walk you through it step by step. But just before we jump into that, I recommend taking Dude Hack's free quiz. This is going to tell you what dating app is best suited to you. So it's definitely worth checking out. And at any point throughout this video, you decide to go ahead and give eHarmony a go, you're going to find a free sign up link in the description box below. But without wasting any more time, let's get into how eHarmony works. What is eHarmony? eHarmony is the online dating platform to go to if you're looking for a marriage or long-term relationship. Don't believe me? Well, in 2013, it was considered the top dating site for creating marriages in comparison to the other dating sites. According to statistics, it's responsible for 4% of marriages in the US. You'll find eHarmony members from all over the states in the US and also more than 200 countries from around the world. The dating platform gets around 5 million visitors per month. How does eHarmony work? Firstly, you'll need to create a profile with all the details included in it. eHarmony will ask you quite a lot of questions to create your personality profile. The information you provide helps eHarmony screen your profile and present more compatible profiles. The matching process on eHarmony uses information you provide to remove 99.7% of users that aren't compatible with you. This not only saves you time, but also improves your chances of finding that perfect partner. Thanks to eHarmony's matching process, you don't have to spend hours and hours going through profile after profile. How does your eHarmony profile work? Well, once you've provided basic information for the sign up process, you'll be taken to the landing screen, which has an inclusive headshot of heterosexual and homosexual couples. The sign up process is free and anyone can create a profile on eHarmony. As a part of the process, you're also required to answer the compatibility quiz. So what is the compatibility quiz, you ask? eHarmony's compatibility matching system attempts to delve deep to better understand your personality. From how you interact with the world to how you deal with conflicts, this quiz asks it all to find out the best matches for you. If you're doubting the authenticity of this quiz, rest assured because it is not only designed by psychologists and relationship experts, but it's actually also based on 20 years of research in the area. The measurements of this quiz are based on 32 dimensions of compatibility. Some of these areas include feelings, intellect, empathy, willingness to adapt, assertiveness and generosity. There are a total of 70 questions in this quiz and it takes around 20 to 25 minutes to complete this quiz. Don't overthink it too much, just answer the questions as honestly as you can. Now, this may seem a little bit daunting, but trust me, answering these questions honestly is definitely worth it. These answers help eHarmony find more compatible profiles for you. 
Once you're done with the compatibility quiz, you can add more information about yourself to your profile. You can also add a profile picture. While adding a picture isn't compulsory, it definitely can improve your chances of finding a match more quickly. You also don't have to worry about safety as your profile picture is only visible to the people you are compatible with. How does eHarmony's messaging work? Signing up on eHarmony is free. However, if you want to message other users, you'll have to subscribe to the paid membership. Messaging on eHarmony is quite safe. As it's a paid feature, the chances of encountering a catfish account or a scammer are quite low. eHarmony carefully monitors messages, so you probably won't get offensive or inappropriate openers either. You don't necessarily have to match with someone to send them a message. If you see a profile that you know, interests you, you can simply send them an opening that you've come up with yourself. However, if you are struggling to come up with a good opener, don't worry, you can actually use the pre-made icebreaker questions or simply send a smile emoji, which kind of works the same as what a Pope would on Facebook. Do keep in mind that the same icebreaker questions or a simple hello can get a little boring, so you should try practicing your openers. Try coming up with a few openers beforehand that will manage to capture the attention of the other user. Given the current climate of the world right now, you're probably taking social distancing measures and you're stuck at home. eHarmony's new video date feature is perfect for this situation. While chatting and phone calls are really great, video calls give more of an insight into your date and their personality. You get to catch all the small gestures and expressions you wouldn't have been able to during calling or just simply chatting on Messenger. How does eHarmony's algorithm work? I've mentioned a little about the matching process earlier, but now let's delve into the details. How exactly does eHarmony's algorithm work to find compatible profiles to the user? The eHarmony algorithm was developed by Dr. Neil Clark Warren, an American clinical psychologist and co-founder of eHarmony, and J. Gallen Buckwalter, eHarmony's chief scientific officer from 1997 to 2008. As I mentioned earlier, the algorithm takes into account the information you've provided in the compatibility quiz. This question has 23 dimensions, which is further divided into six sections. The first section covers questions related to your emotional temperament. You'll be asked questions about your self-concept, emotional energy, passions, etc. The next section looks into social style. Questions will be related to your character, adaptability, sociability, etc. The third section covers cognitive mode. Here you'll be questioned on things like your intelligence, curiosity and humour. Physicality is the fourth section. It looks at your physical energy and sexual vitality among other things. Next, you'll be asked about your relationship skills. This includes your ability to communicate and manage your emotions. The sixth and final section covers your values and beliefs. Here you'll come across questions related to spirituality, family goals and ambition. When the app was first launched, this quiz had around 400 questions. This isn't a joke, it seriously took users like an hour to an hour and a half to answer all of the questions. However, over time, eHarmony has brought that down to 70 questions. In addition to the quiz, the algorithm also takes into account your on-site activity. It keeps a record of the type of profiles you've liked or disliked. For example, if most of the profiles you like belong to a career-oriented people, eHarmony will show you more profiles like that. One thing to keep in mind while filling out the compatibility quiz is that being honest is the most important thing, but be careful not to be too picky. I suggest uh, thinking a little bit more about priorities beforehand. Ask yourself if all the requirements are absolutely necessary. Does your significant other need to have blonde hair? Is it necessary to match with someone who likes rock climbing? Remember, the algorithm is reliant on the type of information that you provide. So if you're too vague or if you're too picky, you might have a harder time finding the right person. So try to aim for a balance when answering the questions. Now, before we jump into eHarmony's membership costs, if you are liking this video so far, we would absolutely love if you could give it a like and even hit that subscribe button for similar content. How does eHarmony's membership work? 
You don't need to pay to sign up on eHarmony. However, the features available for free users are limiting. As a free user, you can only go as far as creating a profile and exploring other profiles, but you can't message anyone. If you're a part of the LGBTQI plus community, then the free option isn't really useful to you as you can't tell others about your sexual orientation. If you can afford it, I suggest trying to get a membership subscription on eHarmony. There are three plans for you to choose from. Don't worry, though the uh, packages remain the same, it's just the period of subscription that varies. In addition, if you sign up for the premium membership within 32 hours of signing up, you actually can get up to 50% off the first three months of your subscription. You get access to the following features for all the premium packages. So viewing unlimited photos, unlimited messages, see who's viewed you, distance search, and a detailed personality profile. Other purchasable features. If you don't wish to subscribe to the entire membership plan, here are some of the features that you can actually purchase separately. The first being the premium personality profile. You can separately purchase the extended version of your profile, which adds 15 more categories to your personality section. With the help of this feature, the matches eHarmony provides are at a higher level of compatibility. To access this feature, you'll need to pay $19.95. Secure call. This feature allows you to make private calls to your matches without disclosing your real phone number. This adds to an extra level of security to your matching experience. The payment options for this feature are one month at $7.95, three months $5.95 per month, six months $5.95 per month, and 12 months $5.95 per month. EH Plus. This feature allows you to get access to your personal dating counsellor. Your counsellor will guide you through the whole matching experience on eHarmony from finding the right profile to actually messaging the user. For the use of this feature, you'll have to pay $5,000 per year. Usually, you're asked to pay for this feature in one instalment. However, if you opt for the yearly subscription, you can pay for it in three instalments. The rate may vary a little depending on what country you belong to. You'll find different features included in the different membership levels. How to download eHarmony. Like most dating platforms, eHarmony has a website for users who prefer to use their laptops or desktops. And for users who prefer smartphones and tablets, there's actually an app that you can download on Android or iOS. The interface of both the app and the website is quite user-friendly, so you'll have no trouble navigating through eHarmony. My final thoughts. If you're ready to settle down, but having trouble finding the perfect match, eHarmony is the place for you. eHarmony is the place for people who are looking for long-term commitments. Unlike most swiping dating apps where matches are often based on looks, the matches on eHarmony are made up on a deeper level. The app's algorithm shortlists for a batch of profiles based on compatibility, resulting in relations that have a higher chance of lasting. If a serious long-term relationship is your goal, then I highly suggest you give eHarmony a shot. I've taken you step-by-step step through every aspect of the site, so you should have no trouble navigating through the app. All you need now is a little courage and patience. And remember, you can sign up to eHarmony free using the link in the description box below. All right, guys, we made it. And that is all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And if you do want to find out more information on dating apps, make sure you go check out our other videos. Oh, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. And that's all on eHarmony. So make sure you check back in soon with regular videos. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.